Ah, calm and breathe. Nifas. According to the Islamic laws, the female body can experience three status Haith, or the monthly period, Istahada, and Nifas. In this episode, we will explain Nifas and its rules. What is Nifas? It is the blood discharge from the womb during childbirth and after which might continue for a few days. The duration. The maximum duration of nifas is 10 days after giving birth. The blood discharge during childbirth is nifas, but these hours are not counted within the 10 days of nifas. How to count the days. This is done in the same way as counting the dates for haith. If nifas starts during the day, every 24 hours from that hour is one day. And if it starts during the night, she counts from the next day from Fajr till Maghrib as one day, and then until the next day Maghrib as another day, and so on and so forth. Question. What about the blood discharge during miscarriage? This is also considered as nifas, but some jurists say there is no nifas if an embryo is miscarried. Question. What is the ruling if the blood continues after 10 days? If the blood stopped by the 10th day, it is all nifas. And if it continues after the 10th day, there are two situations. If the lady has a habit of duration in her haith, the number of nifas days will be equal to the duration of her haith days. And the rest will be istahala. So, for example, if her duration of haith is 7 days, then her nifas will also be 7 days. Any subsequent days will be considered as istahala. And for others, the first 10 days will be nifas, and the rest is isahada. Another question. Is there nifas by cesarean section? If there is discharge from the womb, it will be nifas. But the blood coming from the cut wound, or the surgical cut, is not nifas. Finally, the restrictions for a lady in nifas is the same as haith. So, as an obligatory precaution, she has to refrain from all that a lady in haith has to refrain from.